Hi guys, this is Jian from BK Floor Delight. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm going to make this edible gemstones. I prepared these three different gemstones. Let's get started. I started making the gelatin mixture first. My ratio is one cup of water and three tablespoons of gelatin. So I started with two cup of water and add six tablespoons of gelatin. And I also add sugar. It's the same amount of gelatin I add. So I add six tablespoons of gelatin. And I left it in the stove top in the lowest heat and I occasionally stirred it. In the meantime, I made my mold. I used these two cups for these two gemstones. First, I add plastic wrap inside my cup. Make sure your plastic wrap is hanging outside of the cup. So when your mixture is ready, you can just simply pull the mold outside of the cup. And then I add a cake film to make a wall inside the mold. To have an extra security, I press down my cake film and make the cake film and plastic wrap to stick together. And I made a cone shape mold by using the cake film and there was an open spot so I covered with my plastic wrap. Now all of my molds are ready, I'm going to bring my gelatin mixture and add some colors. I brought my gelatin mixture and I poured it in a clear container. It's much easier to see the colors if you're using a clear cup or a ball. And I also left some in the pot just in case if I need to dilute some colors. So I'm going to start with the amethyst color so I used Violet Just add little by little because if you make it dark at the beginning, you can't undo it And I add a little bit of rose This pinkish purple color is one of my main colors so It's very important today and this second color is going to be my main color for the rainbow fluorite I add a little bit of mint color and a little bit of delphinium blue. I really love this soft and mysterious green color. This is gonna be so beautiful for my rainbow fluorite. And the third color is the mixture of rose and ivory and red color. I made this um, bright orange color but I ended up not using this color so I changed this tone to a darker purple color. I'll show you later. And I add a little bit of mint color to the leftover gelatin. And this part is so important. Make sure you wipe your mold with vegetable oil. I used olive oil but you can use coconut oil or grapeseed oil, any sort of vegetable oil you have. And finally, I decided to change this orange color to a darker purple because since I'm going to make an amethyst, I needed a different purple color. So I used violet and royal blue to make a darker purple color. Now we are ready to pour. I have four different color tones and make sure all of your mixtures are cooled down to room temperature. It's cooled down already. With a small amount, it'll easily turn to a jello. So I used a small amount to seal the gap and then I poured the rest into my cup. 
and I pour the remaining green color into my cone shape mold. Now I'm gonna put them in the fridge and let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I took out the two rainbow fluorite gemstones and started the amethyst. So now you have to repeat the process once you pour, put it in the fridge and take it out after 10 minutes and pour it again and put it in the fridge. I used all my gelatin mixture so I end up making another cup of gelatin mixture just one cup of water and three tablespoons of gelatin and three tablespoons of sugar and I used the same color tone and I just made a different color shades And another tip is to pour your mixture when your jello is still soft then they will form a nice ombre in between it'll naturally blend but it won't get mixed together and this will be my last pouring this is my amethyst I'm gonna pour my last gelatin mixture and once you're done pouring everything just let it sit for a longer time in the fridge. I will let it sit for at least 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, finally everything is ready. This is the best part to see the jello gemstones. So take it out from the mold. It'll be so easy to peel it. First I peel the plastic wrap and I kind of wanted to sculpt a little bit. So I heated up my knife with the torch and sliced it gently. When you're using a hot knife, the jello might sweat a little bit so prepare a cold water bowl next to you and you can dip your jello if it's sweating too much. Now I think the top part is pretty much ready so I'm going to peel the cake film. Oh I think this is so pretty. The layers are softly blended together. It's so pretty. I hope you're enjoying my video. Please subscribe my channel for upcoming tutorials.